Ah, uh, yes. Another Twitch controversy. We love to see it. Let's see what Twitch has done this time, bro. Because, god damn. They do a, they, they're just in the news for something stupid every other week at this point. But well, what's up, guys? We're back with another video. And since I got you right here, you might as well subscribe. We're on the road to 5K. I don't post that bad of content, so you might as well stick around so when I get better, you never know what's going to happen. But today's topic, bro, like, shit, man. Twitch, just, again, like, man, I, I can never get over how inceled and cuckold the um heads of Twitch are because they always, bro, like, literally, they just simp for, like, females who just show their titties a lot. And that's just me keeping it a buck. And... There's going to be people who be like, no, they're not. Twitch is fair, and they ban people equally. Like, look, they ban such and such female streamer. And it's like, God, no, bro. Like, Twitch has a track record. Even when they were just Justin TV, they were um, just some horny fucking bastards. And that's just me keeping it a buck. Like... Me keeping it a hundred, they have been doing this for years. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's been a new trend on Twitch. And it goes by many names, but the name I'm going to just refer to it is Hot Tub Streamers. And it's pretty much where girls just put down a camera, put on a bikini, and send us some $5 inflatable pool I used to sell at Dollar General. And... Most of the time, they just sit there and they just get donations just by sitting there and splashing around in water. Sometimes they play video games, but a overwhelmingly majority doesn't. Like, I saw one on, like, what's that shit called? When, like, the Snapchat fucking tabs. When, like, I don't know, the fucking Snapchat tabs. And I just saw, I saw one. One playing a game when they were talking about, like, women go through so much on the internet one true but sometimes you know when controversy is caused there will be backlash but that's just me being kind of just saying something else but they will pretty much sit down in front of the camera sp splash around in water say some low-key uh, horny shit like enough so like someone will donate and then they'll just keep doing it watch risk and repeat every other day and I know, like, in the channel in the past, I've always said this. I have always said this. But, no, what, I actually need to say what I said instead of saying but and moving on to my next point. But, I've always said I will never knock another man or woman's hustle. Especially if it works. Never will I do that. But, this is an exception for the rules. Because one is Twitch. And most of the time, people who get banned on Twitch usually men and f most of the time is for just really dumb arbitrary reasons like one time some dude called like this dude called a raccoon a coon even though like i'm from the south and that's going to sound really bad when i continue my sentence but i'm from the south even i call raccoons coons like it's not a racial it is a racial slur if used like in that way but I don't know. He just called a raccoon a coon, and I really didn't think much of it. But Twitch did, and they banned him on, like, they banned him for, like, a week, a month. I think it was, like, oh, his first time, so he got banned just for a little bit of time. What else? Um, sometimes streamers just get banned for literally no reason at all. Like, sometimes Twitch will just ban niggas and not give reasons. And this hasn't just been something that's recent. This has been going on for years. And now that, like, pretty much girls have figured out, like, hi, these horny nerds who, like, don't get out, just don't touch grass. I'm just gonna put it like this, bro. And if this offends you, bro, good. Go, go tell your dad you're sorry. But these girls found a system where they're just like, I can sit here in, a, in just water. I can sit in water and splash around and low-key show off my tits, bro. And I can bring in $3,000 a day, not a day, but a week, just because some incel cuckold who hasn't touched grass in years, or ass in years, or ever, most of the time is never, um, wants me to say their name, or they want me to draw their name on their body. And this brings me to a broader topic when women feel like they're disrespected on like gaming streaming platforms. 
one not all women are disrespect on gaming streaming platforms there are plenty of women who will probably beat my ass in a game no cap like i've seen some really good female rainbow six streamers i've seen some really good female valorant streamers some even playing cold war and they're cold as fuck at it but it gets to a point where women complain when they're using a platform the way it's not supposed to be used and people get upset about it like why are people getting upset that I'm just showing my tits on stream on Twitch like cuz in my opinion I feel like one if you're not playing video games and you're like well just chatting is a thing but most of the time they just sit in like popular games and be like all right let's let's play and they don't they just sit there and just splash around in water and then another thing, bro. Let me let me put on my father pants. Let me let me let me put on my fucking belt, bro. And my fucking shiny shoes. Put on my damn belt real quick. What the fuck is wrong with you guys, bro? Guys in general. What 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 satisfaction do you get when you sit there and donate to a woman who one just sits in water and talks? And two, she won't even flash you her tits. Like, you're paying $20 for her to say your name. Get the fuck out of here before I beat your ass, bro. Take my damn belt off, nigga. Piss me the fuck off. Like, imagine. I, like I said, bro. I don't understand why niggas buy OnlyFans, but I see why they do it. it. You get to see skin. You get to see what you want. They make you custom videos. But... Are you really going to spend $20 on a woman who won't flash you no tits or ass? Who won't even push that shit together? Not even do nothing just to say your name. Man, y'all niggas. What Kwame Brown said, bro? Y'all niggas are different. Y'all niggas are different breeds, bro. Y'all niggas, man. Effeminate ass women, man. But back to the topic at hand. In, in my opinion, bro, I don't. I just really don't think that shit's good for the platform at all. Because, one, it's just like some guy who's like grinding on Twitch, makes genuinely good content, makes good gameplay, has to compete against, uh, let me think, gotta compete against Bimbo Bitch A and Bimbo Bitch B, who just sits in water and doesn't play anything. They just sit there in water. Like, at some point, that you just can't compete with that. Like, you just can't compete with that. And there's been a lot of things Twitch just lets women get away with, like, over the years, like, just lets them get away with that men would never do. I'm not gonna beat the dead horse, but Alinity, if that's her fucking name, I know she's done a lot of, like, shady shit on Twitch and hasn't gotten banned yet. Um, what else? Like, there's a lot of shit that dudes just can't get away with. Like, I remember one time this dude showed off his gun, had it on safety and everything. He showed it was unloaded, still got banned for showing weaponry or some shit like that. Like, just the... Like, just how the admins at Twitch, they just literally favor women who show tits. Like, then... God, it's been happening since Justin TV. Like, they will favor women. Like, when you when, when a bunch of nerds and incels make a website, that's kind of, it's already at the roots that whatever women do and whatever they want to do is going to low-key pass off. And what's it called? I know I can low, I know I'm low-key sounding misogynistic. You sound better. Uh, is because it's it's stupid. Like, I don't know. If you want to do that that badly, make an OnlyFans, you'll make more money. Even though, like I said, doing OnlyFans, too much too much supply and not enough demand. Unless you're, like, doing some really, really, really weird shit. Like, like some really out there shit for, like, a specific audience. But, yeah. I don't know. I just don't think just... I'm not going to say it's ruining the platform, even though it can. If it just doesn't get controlled or maintained... Twitch will just become pretty much softcore porn for nerds who with with women who occasionally play the 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 niche not niche but popular video game 
and like if you're just already a female and you're established good job you you won and if you're just starting man or woman good luck because you're gonna have to not only compete against established names but you're also gonna have to compete against girls who just sit in water all day but overall not not gonna ruin this not not ruining the platform it's pretty stupid like twitch doesn't really do much about it but that's just twitch at this point that's just the state of twitch has been like that for years but i don't know i personally won't allow it because one is a gaming website and they really don't game they just sit there and but fuck it like i said can't knock a hustle but this time i can't because it's just stupid and it's not the place for it but that's the video man if you have any um fuck shit i just completely drew a blank god damn i need fucking water but um <laughs> if you enjoyed the video please subscribe <clears throat> jesus christ oh uh, man this is going to be a problem you know what fuck it just power through if you enjoyed the video man leave a like subscribe it would really help a lot for the channel big things are coming soon and take it easy but not too easy because that's when life gets hard peace and stay fucking blessed bro i'm out